Hey everyone, today we're going to be going over the wonderful world of artificial intelligence in Roblox Studio. We'll be using this AI to program our NPCs. I've also got some AI generated jokes about AI, so let's get into it. Basically, first off, I'm going to go into the plugins tab, and you're going to need to get this load character pro from Already Pro. I'm going to put the link to it in the description below so you can go ahead and get it, but Anyways, and basically you write your Roblox username right here or anybody else's. I'm just going to use mine for this, so I'm going to write Rusty Silly Band. Now you can choose either to spawn it at the origin of the world or not. I'm just going to say yes. And you can do R6 or R15, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to do R6 for now. And basically, this is our character. We already have it done and everything. So now all we need to do is just add any script. So on our character, to the right of that there's a little plus you can click on that and then right down here there's a script so you can go ahead and click on that and you can rename the script if you want to I'm just gonna leave it blank anyways to get started I'm gonna say local local NPC and this will be equal to script.parent and we're gonna say game.players.playeradded we're gonna connect a new function to this and this function is gonna take the parameters of player and then we're basically say we're gonna set up a loop right here that'll basically go on every second. And this second, we're gonna say if our player dot character, then so this is checking to see if the player's character is loaded in already. Basically, we need to set up another variable for our distance. So I'm gonna say local distance will be equal to and this will be equal to player dot character dot head dot position minus our npc dot humanoid root part dot position and then dot magnitude also right here we just want to make sure we put in our parentheses like this anyways now we can say if our distance is less than 10 so now that we got that going for us we can go ahead and say MPC dot humanoid. We're gonna tell this to move to our player dot character and then dot head dot position. Now we're gonna say else if our distance is greater than twenty, then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna tell our MPC dot humanoid to go ahead and move to our MPC dot humanoid root part. This is gonna be a lot, so. Just hang on with me, humanoid root part, dot position, plus vector 3 dot new, and that's going to be math dot random, and then we're going to do negative 5, comma 5, and outside of these first parentheses, we're going to do comma 0, comma math dot random, and then minus 5, comma 5, All right, and then we're going to add an else, say MPC dot humanoid we're going to tell it to move to our mpc dot humanoid humanoid root part dot position the script is essentially a set of instructions for an mpc in a game of roblox it tells the mpc to continuously check the distance between itself and the player if the player is close to the mpc the script tells the mpc to move towards the player but if the player is farther away the script tells the NPC to move away from the player and the player is in the and if the player is in a middle distance, the script tells the NPC to stay in the same place. It's almost like the NPC is playing a game of chase with the player, or the NPC is trying to get closer to the player when the player is near and trying to move away from the player when the player is far. So let's go ahead and test this out real quick, make sure everything's working. I'm just going to move our NPC right about there, and I'm going to hit play. As you see when I join in, we're farther than that distance from the NPC, so he's just going to be moving around randomly. But if we get close to him, he's actually going to start following us a little bit. And if we get right in the middle distance, he's just going to stand still for a little bit. So, yeah, when we're farther away, he'll move away. When we're close, he'll stand still. When we're too close, he'll start moving towards us. Now there's one more thing that you guys would probably want to know, it's how would I make the NPC just chase after the closest player in the game. Now this would be useful for like story games and whatever where you have a monster trying to attack the players. So let's go ahead and do that. If you want you can just delete this script 
And let's go ahead and add in another one right here with the plus next to the character. Anyways, inside of this script, we're going to say as we need to get our local NPC again. So this will be script.parent. And then we're going to do the same while true do loop. And we're going to wait another second. But now we're going to say local closest player will be equal to nil. And then our local closest distance will be equal to math.huge. And then we're going to put a loop through all the players, so we're going to say for underscore comma player in pairs game dot players get players and then we're going to tell it to do this. Basically we're going to tell it to get our player's character, like if it is if the player does have a character then we're going to set up our distance again. So our distance will be our player well, remember the parentheses, so player dot character dot head dot position plus a uh, minus NPC dot humanoid root part dot position and then outside of here we can just do dot magnitude and then we can go ahead and say if our distance is less than the closest distance then we can go ahead and say is our closest distance equals to distance and our closest closest player will be equal to player and then down here we can go ahead and say if if closest can't spell right now so if our closest player then we can go ahead and say mpc dot humanoid we're going to tell it to move to we're going to grab our closest player dot character dot head dot position and then that will be it actually so what this script does is basically imagine the NPC is playing a game of tag with all the players and the script is helping it to always know who is closest to it at all times so it can try to tag them. every second the script looks at all the players and checks how far away each one is from the NPC Whichever player is closest to the NPC, the script tells the NPC to move towards that player. So anyways, exiting out of the script, we can go ahead and click play, make sure this works the way we tell it to. And so when we join in, you can see this guy is constantly chasing us no matter the distance from us. Now that's a good thing, but how do we make sure it tests in a public server with all the different players? So I'm going to stop that inside of test. You can open up a local server and you, this drop down menu can set however many players you want to so basically open up like windows on your computer of multiple instances of Roblox Studio for each of those players so I'm gonna hit start with a two player server real quick so now joining in I'm going to X out of these explorer and properties tabs just like right here now as you can see when this player goes away the NPC is trying to get that player but now when I move away with this player, the NPC will follow me because I'm the closest player. But then if I jump over this one, you can see he's now going for that one, for this player. And so basically it carries on for whoever is the closest player to the NPC and that guy will just go ahead and attack them. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Like I promised at the start of the video, I did have an AI joke to tell. So, why did the AI get cold? Because it left its algorithms open. <laughs>